Just kidding guys, this is not a John Beyond boxing. But we are doing an unboxing today. Gambler Lures, one of the companies I work with, did send me a box. This is a very nice box and it is full of good stuff. So let's go ahead and open this guy up. Ready, set, go! In this box, we have a badass bag. Let's see what's in it now. What do we got here? Let's go through these baits and this video is going to be a little bit different than what you're used to seeing because I'm actually going to be fishing in this video with these baits with a very, very badass bass fisherman by the name of Mikey Balls. He invited me out on his boat and we're going to go fish Lake Okeechobee. Never actually like really bass fished on a boat. Never been to Lake Okeechobee so I'm knocking out two birds with one stone. One thing that they sent over was this 7 inch fat ace. This is a badass Sanko guys. This isn't like any other Sanko you've seen. Check this thing out. This thing Thing means business this ain't no baby bait that is a real big bait um they feel great they're soft yet they feel very uh durable and i've always had really good success with gambler you guys see me fish the easy swimmer i have not fished a lot of their senkos in the past but the easy swimmers are killer baits these are some five inch aces these are their smaller senkos so more worms i'm just trying to go through it all and here are some six inch fat aces six inch senkos more big fatties Man, guys, I'm excited to try these things. A menacing bait. I know these are going to be killer out on that lake. Oh, we got something different right here. A ribbon tail, a worm body, and then you have this long stringy tail. Um, all of these baits will be in the description box below. Gambler is a company I love to work with. Great people, great products. So make sure to check them out, guys, in the description box below. Enough talking. Let's get to fishing. Nice. Boy, it's cold. Took my bait. A kickball guy. It goes straight in there. Man, you really gotta pull him out fast. Yeah, you wanna really reel down on him. Like, feel him there, reel down. Hit him with the juice. <laughs> that never gets old. You came all the way to the top and took the chunk. You guys, this is absolutely nothing like fishing in a canal or a private pond. You gotta go four wheel drive. <laughs> You got to give it to them or they give it to you. All right, guys. So we are on to the second method. Earlier, we just did some pitching into holes right around grass and uh, any little open pockets we had. Uh, Mikey told me all those spawning fish come in into those open spots, right? Yeah, basically they kind of flood into those holes and they'll hang out in those holes, sweep off a bed, and then they'll, they'll set up on there. And if you get lucky, there's a big one sitting with the male. Yep. And now we are just throwing these little rattle traps right here. We got some open water. We do have a bunch of just grass, just kind of patches of it. I'm trying to cast right on the edges of it, see if any fish are staged up right alongside it. All right, guys, so this is the third thing we've done today, and this is called punching. I am completely a noob to this style of bass fishing. I've never done it. I'm the freshwater Guggen here. I'm the one who's learning today, but that's okay because that's what fishing's all about. And Mikey was a knife, nice enough to take me out here. And what we have here is a uh, soft creature bait right there. And you got a very thick wired hook, thick gauge hook, because you're ripping fish out of all this structure right here. You got um, penny warts and lily pads and all sorts of stuff, and you really got to rip fish out. Tungsten leads, which are very, very dense weights, even denser than lead. And you, you need it so you can really just, it needs to just fall through whatever structure you're throwing at. And we have these, what were these called again, Mikey? Bobber stoppers. Bobber stoppers. We have these bobber stoppers and they slide right on your line and they kind of cinch down and they prevent your weight from going up and down. It's a really neat way of fishing and it's a really productive way of fishing. You know, fish can come and sit here underneath. They seek, just like any other fish, they seek structure. They wait for things to float over their head. And you got this little bad boy right here floats right on down and it's a reaction bite. It's a very, it, if I had to compare it to any fish, it's like a snook bite. It's a thump from hell and you just got to rip them out. It's a very fast reaction, just aggressive bite. It's a lot of fun. So we're going to try to get on some bigger fish. Plunking it in there, you kind of want to stay towards the edge. But you're going to just take it. There's a little hole right there. Okay. Three lines at the bottom. You'll feel a thump, or when you lift a couple times, you might feel some weight. Uh -huh. down to set the hook. So you're, you're just kind of tapping it a little bit. 
you're not really uh, jigging that crazy, right? Uh, if we find like a little stretch that has some fish, we might slow down a bit. All right, okay. Now it's pretty much, if it drops through and it goes clunk, it's probably a fish. See guys, this is interesting. This is nothing like the bass fishing that you associate with South Florida. Canals, ponds, everyone thinks that the pond fishing is real bass fishing. I mean, it's fishing at the end of the day, but you're not, you're, you can't throw a swim bait in the middle of the lake and catch a bass here. It's very, very technical. And I think it's really cool how these guys, you know, figure it out. Every bit of water at this lake has its own technique purpose, you know? Do we both? Right there. Finally. <laughs> All right, dude. Broke the skunk with a punch. Yeah. All yeah. right on the edge. Dude, that's that's a good feeling right there. That <laughs> punching. That is a good feeling. They tug back, dude. Yeah. Like they want to get back in that structure. First lake O bass. First punching bass. Oh, the dog wants some of the action. What about the uh, Akuma Komodo? Have you fished those? No. All right, dude. Like you said, dude, I didn't get three quarters of the way down. As <laughs> soon as it broke the pads. There you go, get a little lick. Pull down onto the hook. Now Mikey's gonna explain to us why the process right. of snelling so, versus just tying to the eye. Watch when you, okay. Bonk. Okay. Bonk. Yep. Bonk. Bonk. Like that. Yep. Okay. See? Yep. So basically when you put tension on that line, that hook kicks up. Just like that. And, and it pops hand. right out of the bait. Pops right out of the bait, right into their mouth. Ooh. So it kind of like goes around. Yeah. You know? It's almost like a circle hook concept. Okay. So it, No, it makes sense. It makes sense. Hook, you go slack. It's falling down. You get tight. Pop it. You get tight. Pops out because you're fishing that lure weedless and you want the hook point to come out of it and it kind of it jerks sideways. Otherwise, you tie it to the eye, you're just jerking straight up exactly, and ripping dude. it right out of their mouth. So, you really don't need to put too much tension on it either. So, you have the fish pulling yeah. and then you pull and then the whole thing comes together and it freaking kicks out. Interesting. And this is called a what? Um, that's a snell knot on a straight chain hook. It's okay. basically your standard punching setup. Okay. <laughs> what were you doing? Nice, dude. You were messing with the trolling motor? No. I was trying to get it. Oh. Trying to stay hydrated and yeah, missing. Well guys, today was very humbling to say the least. Um, I gotta say thank you. Huge shout out to Mikey. Mikey Balls, you guys check him out on YouTube. When I say he's a bass slayer, I'm not just blowing smoke. I really respect someone who puts in the time and Mikey has this place figured out. I've had my stint with bass fishing in the past and you guys have heard me talk smack. And uh, there is a huge science, there's a huge technical side to bass fishing and I really, I, I really want to get better at it and not have a lot of voice cracks in my outros. <laughs> <laughs> there is so much to know. I mean, just like right now we were fishing this stick grass and then we were fishing we were punching pads there's just so much to know open water fishing shallow water fishing what baits to throw during different times of day and bass fishing out here is completely different it's humbling like i said you have to really know what you're doing you got to put in a lot of time this is not an easy fishery especially in the artificial game so definitely want to get better at that and seriously guys check him out he has i mean he has the videos to prove it i'm talking six eight ten twelve pound bass like multiple fish he's really good and uh yeah i know you guys aren't huge on the freshwater fishing on this channel but keep an open mind and that's what this is all about and i'll see all you guys my land sharks in that next video